Hello, I'm Green. And I'm Purple. Welcome back to Green and Purple. We started to go back to Hard Coaster, but it's a long, drawn-out level. So Caleb just decided he's going to go back at a later time and yeah, and finish it Don't up. worry, I'll, I'll take care of it. Uh, but now we're going to Dark Maze. This better not be like Hazy Maze. Oh, this is where the salt bombs are. Salt bombs? Yeah. That doesn't sound pleasant at all. <laughs> I never realized when I was a kid that like salt like hurt wounds more. Yeah. But uh, I watched... I can't remember if it was the original or like one of the earlier Journey to the Center of the World movies. Not the one with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Oh, or, Dwayne. Bre or Brendan Fraser. Dwayne. It was one of like the old school movies. And uh, there was like this monster, I think. And they, after they fought it, yeah. they fell into this pit of sand. Uh, or uh, not sand, salt. salt. And like one of them had gotten like hurt by the monster and had like uh, an open wound and they fell into the salt pit and it was like you know, obviously not pleasant. Right. That that hurts. And I was like, ew. I think it was in uh, Miss Bush's class. Oh, no one's gonna know. <laughs> <laughs> we had this teacher in uh, middle school named Miss Bush, and literally all she ever did was show us videos. <laughs> she was a, she was awesome. I liked her, but it was Dude. like, it was funny because we get to. Uh, Come on, buddy. We would get to like one of the standardized test days, yeah. And then she she'd be like, "Oh, you remember when we learned this?" I'm like, "We didn't learn any of this." <laughs> <laughs> like it was pretty simple stuff, so it wasn't a big deal. And plus, she would just like write stuff on the board that we needed to remember. But it was just like funny how she didn't really care about the curriculum. She's like, "Let's just watch cool science movies." <laughs> also, have guinea pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. Um. So you want to re reveal your results? Of oh it? yeah. Yeah, I took the. Uh, the short little Myers break thing. And I was right, it is like one of those ones where uh, you can pay and like have it professionally administered and it takes like a long time, it's a really long test. But they have like condensed versions that you can take, which is uh, what I took. And I got an inf, which is extroverted, intuitive feeling perceiving. And uh, Caleb's little spreadsheet that like sh gave names to all of them uh, said I was the champion. Yes, you were considered. You just spit on me. Champion. Mm, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, yeah, and I and uh, I guessed that Austin was going to be one of. I mean, one of four of the different personalities because there's 16. Mm -hmm. And I was knew it was going to be four because with each personality type that you get, there's like four other ones that. Uh, that really sync up with you. Mm -hmm. So I had a feeling, because of how well Austin and I get along with each other, since we're like, you know, best friends, mm -hmm. I knew he, he had to be one of those four. And lo and behold, he is. What was that? That's a slug. No, what was the... What You have white bombs now or yeah, something? Yeah, those are assault. Oh, okay. Oh, those are the only ones that can kill the slugs? Yeah. Okay. Apparently slugs are impervious. Just bomb proof? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For some reason. Mr. President, we just finished up the nuclear bomb shelter. Ew, it's just made out of slugs. Uh, this is the only way you can be safe, Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, you don't understand the situation. Yeah, but basically, like, mine says I'm outgoing and a people person, which I, I genuinely think is, is pretty spot on. Like, I'm not one of those people that just, like, feels depressed or whatever when I'm not with people. Like, I, I enjoy being by myself pretty often. But at the same time, like, I also... To me, there's not a whole lot like more entertaining than just having like an interesting conversation with someone. Which is why I believe uh, between the two of us, why Austin, uh, I mean, on the show, show-wise, and just in general, you know, Austin's the one that's talking. He talks a lot more than I do, <laughs> just because. I mean, he's extroverted. I'm introverted. I'm a blabber. Man. I'm. I like listening, and he likes talking. So see why we get along so well with each other. <laughs> my, my mom, like, my mom talks a lot too. Like, we both kind of had problems in, like, early on in school because we just talked a lot. Yeah. During class and stuff. But, I don't, it, it was, it didn't, it was a problem for me in, like, in elementary school. Yeah. But then, after, by the time I got to middle school, I had, like, figured out that, you know, you need to be quiet whenever <laughs> the teacher's talking and whatnot. Watch out for the bullet spikes. But, uh, let's see here, what was I going to say? Um, to, Go back on mine. If I remember correctly, my the counselor personality is like uh, it's really rare. Um, oh, it's sure. like out of the general po population, only two percent of people fall into it. Mm -hmm. And um, out of those two percent, um, two percent of women 
are of that category, and only 1% of men fall into the counselor category. Mm. So, yeah, I'm, I, have a, I have a very rare personality, and I can definitely, like, I definitely, like, saw that, and I can understand that, because, I mean, I, how to put this, whenever I was going through school, even now, mm-hmm. I could always tell I was, like, way different from, like, most people, and, like, especially boys, you know? Like, because you know how, like, younger boys are, like, they're rowdy, they're rambunctious, they like getting into fights and stuff like that, and mm-hmm. I was never like that. I I always, like, I always had more female friends. Like, whenever I hanged out with people in elementary school, I hanged out a lot more with, like, women than I did with men. Mm-hmm. And, uh, that's just, I mean, that was just how it was, and I, and I mean, seeing this now, kind of, I can just kind of see why that is, just because... I mean, I'll admit, I'm, pro- I'm I'm way more in touch with my feminine side. Like, I'm more feeling, I, I feel like I'm more emotional. Not saying that men aren't emotional, but like... I mean, in general, women tend to be more emotional than like, men. Like, I, 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 I listen, I'm quiet, I like, I don't like, you know... Oh, okay, here are the other okay, over here. Um, you know, I just, that's how I am. And like I said before, I, I definitely think that I'm more in touch with my feminine side. Well, it's really weird now that you say that. Is like when I was a kid, I was a lot different than I am now. Yeah. Like whenever I was really little, I was much more introverted. Like, I didn't get along with like kids super easily. Like I like telling stories to everybody. Another goddamn coaster level. <laughs> like I like telling stories to everybody, but then like I don't know. I just got upset a lot easier, and I didn't. There was a lot more times where uh, I would just like go into my room and mm-hmm. lay on my bed. And I was like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, and yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. I remember you telling me stuff like this. Yeah. Like, I would just go all the time. Like, I would just go and sit in my room or I would walk around in circles in my house and just, like, think. Yeah. Because to, to me, that was, like, more interesting than a lot of things I could actually do with, like, physical stuff. Just, like, coming up with, stu- like, random stories in my head and stuff. And, I mean, I still do that a lot, but now I tend to do it more whenever I'm, like, getting ready to go to sleep or I'm in, like, the shower or whatever. Right. I, I... You know, you always hear about extroverts and introverts, like, they're really exclusive to one another. Right. But I feel like there's a lot of people that are extroverted in, like, a lot of circumstances, but also introverted in other circumstances. Yep. And, you know, vice Ow. versa. The salt got in my eyes. You're fine. Quit being a baby. <laughs> I mean, because, like, when I was younger, um, I was a crybaby. <laughs> I, 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 am not, I, I will own up to that. I was a crybaby. <laughs> I, uh, it did not take much to get me to start crying. Um, and, I mean, that's, like I said before, I, I just see that now. I mean... Even now, when I'm older, I'm not a crybaby anymore. Like, it don't, it, like you can't... <laughs> so you say. <laughs> like, like you can't say, like... you. Want, if you say, like, oh, Caleb, you're dumb, I'm not going to start crying. <laughs> Caleb, you're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to start crying, but, like, um, I definitely am still, like... I can be very emotional. And, like, that kind of goes with, like, how I've told you guys, like... I consider myself, like, a hopeless romantic. Like, I love romance and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And, like, because, like, whenever I watch movies and play video games and like i just see those like romantic moments I, it just always gets to me i always see I, I i i like i mean we just discussed how we're kind of on almost opposite end of the spectrum to a certain degree yeah but like yeah i never liked still don't like most romantic situations in movies like if it's a romantic situation that's like been built up really well and like I can see it. Yeah. Like, if the entire movie's been building the two characters, like, getting together, then I'm like, okay. I I, I can get invested in that. But whenever it's just, like, feels like it's going, coming out of nowhere, and then just two characters just end up loving each other or whatever. Oh, I mean, that's not what I'm... Yeah, that's not... I'm not saying I'm into that. I'm not, like, I'm into, like, the actual, like, romance. Like, I know. Like, two I, characters coming... I, I feel like I'm, like, more picky about, like... Oh, okay. What romantic... Like... And for me, it's, like, more easier to see is what you're getting at. Mm -hmm. It it takes a lot for me to, like, see a romantic relationship between two two characters and be like, okay, I I can see that. More often than not, I'm like, all right, they barely know each other. That doesn't make sense to me. And, um, like, for me, it's, like, 
it's not even like the big stuff. Like I'm not talking about like oh when two characters kiss or anything like that. No, it's like for me it's just the simple stuff. Like like in um, Galga when they like held hands at the end. I like that kind of stuff. Simple things like two characters holding hands are cuddling just you know simple stuff like that really it really tugs on my heartstrings i'm just like oh i, I... see gal gun didn't tug on my heartstrings whatsoever oh. <laughs> i mean it, it, to me it was just no a, it was a funny random story but like see my my whole thing was like they don't know each other and he just shot her a bunch of love arrows but and I, I could see how like they didn't know each other they're childhood friends i know but like it was like implied that they like hadn't <laughs> talked to each other in a long time and it's like People change um, a lot since they're kids. Like, if I mean anyone, like if you knew someone as a five-year-old or whatever, and then you met them twenty years later, like you don't know that person. Yeah. What is this? Is this the same level? No, this is different. Oh, okay. Mm. I'm kind of trying to make up for last episode. Try <laughs> to get as many levels in this episode as possible. I see. Yeah. Going balls to the wall. Hmm. Yeah, that is. I didn't. I didn't really um, know that about you. I, just, I, I generally, genu, gen, I get the words genuinely and generally like <laughs> mixed up in my mouth. My mouth's so much jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> jewelry. 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 Jerry. Anyways. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I, I guess I'm kind. Of, one of the few things I'm cynical on is like romance. Like most of the time, I just find romance plots to be kind of cheesy just because i feel like to really build up a romantic and like meaningful relationship between two people it just takes a long time and like a lot of like it doesn't happen overnight like it does in a lot of romance movies in my opinion i guess it can but i mean because like most the... Oh, no, sorry. Go, no, okay. Go ahead. I get it, Russ, like, from, like, when I play dating sim games. And mm -hmm. I feel like those are good examples, because, I mean, it's not something that happens in a day. I mean, it might feel like a day real time, but, like, the speculation is that it's supposed to take time. And you're supposed to listen to your the person you're interested in and, like, build up your perpetuity in, with them. And But even with those, I like, at the end of the day, it's still a game, and it's still just, like, you have to answer the right question, like, Oh, one way. that's how you... Okay, so see, this is where we're really getting to the differences here. I think that... Okay, so that's what you think would do... You, that's what like, you I think Like, I mean, it, it's just like... It, to me, dating sims are just a puzzle of figuring out, like, what each person wants to hear. Yet, I feel that dating sim games are a good way to help people understand what it means to be in a relationship. Mm, I mean, like... Like, we're, I, I know we're going to disagree on this just because yeah. of our different viewpoints yeah. and, like we said before, our personality types. In my opinion, it's like, yeah, to a certain degree, it's all about listening to the other person and figuring out, like, what means the most to them, like, what you could say would, like, make them the happiest. Right. But on the other end, it's just like, I feel with some dating sims, it's, it's just like, okay, well, this is what I think. And then you pick that, and it's not what that person wanted to hear. So it's like, all right, well, I need to change what my, I'm thinking so that this person will end up liking Wee. me. Although I don't, I don't know. I, it's, we it's did like, it. It's like the games the first game because like one good example I can give is like Rune Factory. It's like I feel like the okay. We're just gonna turn this like the rest of this to a podcast because I want I really want to talk about this because okay. I'm you know I'm like really into this stuff. Mm -hmm. It's like. Room Factory, I feel like, does it right. It's really creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I just turned in my chair so I could face him like a psychiatrist. Because, like, I never feel like in Room Factory you have to say things to the characters that, like, you think they'll like. I feel, because most of the time, to get that character to write, like you in, like, Room Factory and Harvest Moon games, you have to, like, give them gifts. You have to make sure you, like, talk to them every single day. And, like, show that you care and you want to get to know them. And that's what I'm talking about when I say, like, I feel like dating sim games that do it right, I feel that they do show a nice way of, like, showing people what it means to be in a relationship and what you have to do to be in a proper relationship. And I even see it, like, I also see it as a way of, like, telling me what I'm into, what, what I look for and a romantic partner because when I play different romance games I tend to see I tend to go after the same or not the same Type girl yeah the same personality 
that I see in like a female character. And for me, that helps me understand that, like, okay, I like this type of personality, so I'm going to look for women that share this personality. For me, it's, like, there's not a specific type of personality that I, like, look for in, like, building a relationship with someone. Right. To me, it's just, like, because I have a lot... Oh, that sounds kind of pretentious. Like, I don't have, like, a lot of friends, like, oh, I'm so popular, but, like, I feel like all the friends I have are, like, really different from each other. Yeah. So there's, like... There's a lot of difference between the people I interact with, mm -hmm. and I feel like I'm kind of like the common link between, like, I'm just able to get along with a lot of different kinds of people. Right. So, for me, I guess maybe that's why I kind of, a lot of dating sims kind of feel trivialized, because, like, a lot of the different girls feel similar to me whenever you get to, like, the end of the r relationship. Because, oh, like, goodness. at the beginning, of course, all of them, they, like, try and differentiate themselves, like, okay, this is the... The girl that's, like, cynical about everything. And this is the girl that's always happy. And this is the girl that, like, is really outgoing and stuff like that. But whenever you get to the end, they're all just like, oh, you know, blush. And, like, you know, get, to, like, the tinglys in them or whatever. And I feel like by the end, they all just kind of devolve into the same character. Once you get past that, like, point of getting to know them and, like, breaking down their barrier. Whenever in real life, a lot of, like, even, like, getting to know you was, like, really diff different because, you know, you aren't, you're not, like, an outgoing type of person. Like, we still can't remember how we became friends. Right. Other than the fact that, like, we think at one point or another we ended up sitting next to each other in band and then started talking about video games or one, point, one thing or another. Yeah. But, like, just because I know you doesn't mean, like, you're a different person. Like, you'll talk to me about things that you wouldn't talk to other people about. Yeah. But you're still, like, the same person. Most of those are coming out here on the show. Yeah. Like, <laughs> my love for Monster Girls. <laughs> but, like... In dating sims, a lot of time, it's, like, once you get past the initial point, they just try and, like, they all kind of devolve into the same thing. To me, at least. Yeah, see, once again, I... Once again, like I said, this is how good friends we are, because... <laughs> see, this is what debate should be. It should be two people, like, we're not killing each other over this. We're SHUT not, UP! <laughs> we're not... Sorry. Tearing our throats out. Uh -huh. Austin went a little bit crazy there. I Are we the all mic. good? I think so. Okay. Yeah, um, so <laughs> <laughs> um, like we're like I understand where he's getting at because I know because once again like we're talking about personality types and I know that this is just because this is Austin's personality. This is how he views things. It's easy for us to see each other's viewpoints, right? And it also might be because our personalities sync up really well with mm. each other. But um, if we had clashing personalities, maybe yeah, we would we, be yeah, yelling we, we, at each we, other. Yeah. But like I once again. I, I disagree with that statement. I feel that, like, even... I feel like even though they all, like, in the end, you say, like, they, they blush and they get a little giddy or nervous around mm -hmm. you and stuff like that. Once again, I feel like that might be true, but I feel like each girl still stays true to themselves. Once mm -hmm. again, I'm going to use Rune Factory and Harvest Moon as an example. Yeah, they're a little bit more open to you and nervous around you and stuff like that because, you know, you're, you're getting a romance, but... Once again, I I feel like they still they still stay true to themselves and how they get nervous. Mm. Um, like it goes, it still goes with their character. Like mm -hmm. if they're cynical, they'll be nervous, but in a cynical way and stuff like that. Like calling you an idiot and stuff like that, or like you know stuff, you know, don't touch me. Um, it, that's embarrassing, stuff like that. And then like giddy girls will be like, oh stop it and stuff like that, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's how I feel. That's just. Once again, I'm a I'm a hopeless romantic. I I'm into that stuff. That it really speaks to me, and I just I guess yeah, I guess you could put it like Austin's more of a he's thinking of it more realistically, and I'm probably looking at it in a more fantasy setting. And I mean, I don't feel like my view is bad. It's no, like no, oh, you no. need to go you need to go to the real world, Caleb. You need mm -hmm. to think of this in a real situation. But like, I sincerely think. That um, you, if you look hard enough, you can find that fairy tale ending. You can find that person that, like, it's as if it's like a fantasy setting or it's like an anime or something like that, where you mm -hmm. two both end up happy with each other. Yes, there will be issues, but because you two love each other so much, you're going to find a way through it because mm -hmm. that's what love is all about: being there for that person. Well, I think. It Again, it's just my, my perspective on it, but it's less about, like, finding the right person or, like, finding that one, like, true love or whatever. Right. As it is about, like, finding someone that, like, you can just really be yourself around. Yeah, exactly. Like, 
I know, I, I've heard this somewhere before, but uh, a cr- kind of crude way of saying it is like, like the, your person that you're meant to be with is someone that's like a best friend that you're also like want to sleep with, <laughs> and it's like, but that really is like the only difference between a best friend and like a partner I is agree. like that sexual attraction between the that's two. That's true. I will, because like, I will agree with that. You and me are like really close, and like we could talk to each other about anything, and like mm-hmm. we have like that trust with each other. Right. But, like, we're not attracted to each other. Yeah, because I like women. Yeah, yeah we both like women, and, you know, Caleb's gross. But anyways, um... <laughs> Caleb, don't be a crybaby. You said you weren't a crybaby. <laughs> but, you know, if we, to find that one person that you're meant to be with... Like, not your that one person, but to find someone that you can spend your life with, you have to find that person that, yeah. like, you can share that same kind of relationship with, but there's also that added, like... Right. Physical attraction between the two of them. Yeah, I agree with you like that. Because, you know, they're like, there's always that one person out there Mm-mm. for you. I don't Mm-mm. think that's true. I'm no. like, there's several people <laughs> yeah. out there for you. There's not just one person. <laughs> it's like, that's my bu- one person lives in Africa. That's that's bull honky. <laughs> that is yeah. complete bull honky. There's several people out there mm-hmm. for you. It's just, you know, obviously people like me and Austin have issues finding that one person yeah i mean we're more so we're late bloomers <laughs> i don't know it's not our fault or at least i don't feel like it's my fault this is gonna get down to like my love life my love by, by the end of the episode we're oh, both just like oh, we can't find anybody it, i've had a lot of bad run-ins with like trying to get into a relationship it, it's i'm not gonna talk about them here but like just basically i've uh how to put this nicely I've been wronged a lot, basically. Well, it's like you have you've gone after like a lot of different relationships, right. and like it hasn't ended well. And then like me, I like just haven't gone after any relationships. So yeah. like obviously there's nothing which that can is come weird because you think it'd be opposite with me being the introvert and you being the extrovert. Yeah, but I mean you're the more romantic. Oh, type, that's right. Because so you yeah. would pursue it where where I'm just kind of like waiting for something to like happen out of nowhere, which is not exactly the best way. It's like. You're a fisherman that's, like, trying to go out and catch fish. You almost got it. And I'm just, like, sitting on the docks, like, eh, fish will come to me eventually. Just holding a bucket <laughs> out. It's just like, like, they'll jump in. Ah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, like, both ways can be successful. Yeah, it's of course. It's just, like, it all depends. I mean, love's hard, man. Yes, it is very hard. It's something a lot of people take lightly, and they shouldn't. And it disgusts me when they do. Because, like, that's... That's just how I am. It's like, I know I know some people say, like, I'm just going to put it this way. I'm not looking for a relationship to be in a relationship. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for a relationship so that, that I... could go somewhere. Yeah, to go somewhere. And that goes with my personality type. It's like, it says that, like, I don't... Like I don't want, I don't like the idea of like one night stands or anything. When I go on a mm-hmm. date with somebody, I want it to mean something. Well, and uh, I- I'll agree with you on that because uh, it was my mom talking to my sister once whenever my sister was going to go on like a date. Yeah. And my sister was like, I don't know if I really like this guy or whatever. And my mom's like, Well, just go. I mean, like even if it's not the person you're going to be with, like you have some fun or whatever. And like I see where she's coming with, and right. I I respect that viewpoint. But to me, it's always been like. I don't want to just go into a relationship like, ah, we'll see where this... Go-. Like, if I'm going to go into a relationship, I want it to be, like, something like, I want to work. Like, I want this to work. Like, I want this to be, like, half somewhere to go, in yeah, my opinion. definitely. Yeah. Which seems kind of... Like, it feels like it could be in- too intense or, like, scare people away. Like, I'm not ready for that. I'm just looking for, like, you know... Yeah. Which, I mean, I get those people, but at the same time, it's just, like... If I'm going to spend, like... If I'm going to share a relationship with someone, I want to, them to be, like, in it as much as I'm in it. Yeah. Which is the issue that I keep running into. Mm. It's like, I want... It's like, I want something out of the relationship, and then the people that I go after don't... You're going all in, and then they're just yeah. backing out? Yeah. Which, I mean, it's it's hard. And you, I, I you mean, can't... You can blame other people to a certain degree, but you also have to realize that some people just aren't ready for, like, the same thing Yeah, and I understand are. that, but, like... Oh geez, that's a, I don't, I'm not sure if I want yeah. to tell the story because this eh. is probably like the worst person that has ever like. Let's leave. That. I'll just I'll just say, she. She caused me a lot of emotional distress. Just mm. say that it was it was stupid. It and, was a bad deal. Yeah, it was a bad deal. She was a 
I, it's hor- hor- horrible for what she did, but I'm over that and whatever. Yeah, you just got to push through yeah, and move yeah. on. It's not. It wasn't my fault. It was completely hers. And and I feel bad because because of who I am, I felt like it was my fault, but it wasn't. It's yeah. Yeah, you just got to accept that not everything is in your control. Right. All right, we got really deep. Yeah. Which I mean, I feel it's it's good. Mm-hmm. I mean. I guess some people might be like, eh, it's cringy. It's yeah, we, I don't up. know. If you're still listening to us, then thank you. I mean... <laughs> if we're going to look at, like, the, the interest meter for this level, and, like, as soon as we end the level with everyone just, like, weeps. <laughs> it's like, well... <laughs> we were just talking to ourselves. Oh, well. But, I mean, this whole this whole show, to us, has never been, like, just about, like, playing games. Like, it's always kind of been about, like, yeah. playing games and then just talking about whatever is on our mind at the time. Right, yeah, definitely. All right. Um, that being said, whenever we come back, we're gonna fight Bulbe. <laughs> Bulbe! <laughs> we're gonna end this episode the exact same way as the last one. Slap, 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 sl